In this video, I will walk you through how you can program the microbit to alert you when the temperature is too high. To start, we're going to get rid of the onStart block because we don't need it for this program. So I'm just going to drag it over to the trash can. We will be using the forever block. Because we're going to be automating it, it will constantly check if the temperature is too high and it will alert you when it is. So it's an automated program. To start, we're going to go to basic and then grab the pause block. And I'm going to change it to one second or 1000 milliseconds. So what it's going to do is every second it will check the temperature. You can change that to other amounts. So for example, maybe you're only going to check the temperature every minute. We're then going to grab the show number block so that we can see the temperature scrolling across just to make sure it's working. Uh, so under input, scroll down and grab the temperature block. Under input, grab the temperature block and then snap that into place under the show number block. So as the program stands now, every second it will display the temperature. So you can change the temperature in your simulator to make sure it's working. We are now going to use conditional statements. I'm going to check if the temperature goes above a certain amount, and if it does, I will display an unhappy face, indicating that it's not an optimal condition. So under logic, select the if then else block. So that's the second one here. If you grab the first one, as I will demonstrate, you can then hit the plus and the else will appear. We then want to grab a comparison operator. So again, under logic, scroll down to the less than or greater than symbol. So the comparison operator. And we'll snap that into place as I've done here. I'm going to change that to a greater than sign. And we're going to check if the temperature is greater than a certain value. So under input, once again, select the temperature block and place that inside of the first part of the comparison operator. Sometimes you might find that it will go into the wrong spot. If that's the case, just take it all apart and place it back together again. I'm going to check if my temperature is above 29 degrees. You will have to adjust this number depending on what you would like to check. If you want it to be to set an alarm when it's higher than 30 degrees, then you will change that value. If you are going to check if it's too cold, then instead you would use the less than operator and indicate what value you are checking. So if the temperature is greater than 29 degrees Celsius, I want to have an unhappy face. So I'm going to select basic and then go to show icon and I'm going to select the sad face so it's not happy if it's above 29 degrees Celsius. Under else, I'm going to make it happy. So if it isn't above 29 degrees Celsius, we will assume that that is an optimal condition and I'm going to use the happy face. So I went to basic, show icon, and change it to happy. To set an alarm as well, I'm going to go to the music block and grab the play tone block. So this one here, and I'm going to snap it just beneath my sad face so that if my temperature does get above 29, it will start to set this alarm. You'll hear middle C played. So let's test that out in our simulator now. Currently in our simulator, we have the temperature set to 21 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, 21 scrolls across and it does a happy face. So it's doing the else portion of our conditional statement. If I make it go above 29 now in our simulator, so it's 46 degrees Celsius, the unhappy face appears and you'll hear the alarm. And it will continuously check this every one second. It will scroll the temperature across first and then it will display either a sad face or a happy face. You could remove the show number block. So if I just take that out, as you can see here, I'll refresh my simulator. It will just either indicate the happy face or the sad face, and it won't have the number scroll across. Mm -hmm. 
And once again, you can change the frequency that it checks the temperature at to whatever you'd like it to be.